We live in a world where natural disasters are all around us, and we have every indication that they're going to increase. The challenge before us is to see are these risks equitably dist distributed within society, and who is bearing the burden of these risks. Uh, I think uh, it'll be a unique opportunity during this Disasters Roundtable to discuss the many elements of risk and how they fit in this world in which we live today, where so many people are at risk and don't understand it. Many people who are at risk are not able to do anything about it. They're either economically or physically in a position where they cannot react quickly to risk. And so the challenge becomes, what do we do with this increasing risk? Are the policies and procedures we have on hand the right ones as we see these changes occurring? Uh, what could we do to improve these, uh, the capability to cope with these risks? And of most importance, uh, how do we ensure that the risk is equitably distributed and that everyone is carrying their particular role? All too often, we look to the federal government or the state government or the local government to do it, and we leave out the individual. In the 21st century, the individual has to be part of the risk solution. Now, our job then is to talk about those issues surrounding that. What happens if the, the people live in an area where there is no transportation to help them evacuate? What do we do? Is that their responsibility if they can't do it? No, we have to figure out solutions to that. So we have to balance across the spectrum those challenges that are in front of us and how they'll be distributed, both the risk and the responsibilities. Uh, we're going to talk in the beginning about the responsibilities to deal with Washington, D.C. We have major risk challenges here in the district, especially in terms of hurricanes and floods. And are we prepared to deal with the people in southwest Washington the same way as we deal with people in higher areas in Washington? What's it going to do to the, the people that have to come in here to work every day? So uh, the challenge throughout all of this, and all of this deals with challenges, is how do we put this all together in a way that will guide us into the future and allow us to discuss in a, in a rational manner how we change the way things are and make things better?